I'm Herschel Dennis, uh, former Long Beach Poly USC football player, uh, CEO of Healing Depression, HD.org. Uh, so it's a program that I'm implementing in uh, high schools, junior high schools, and just helping these young athletes uh, kind of figure out who they are as a person, uh, make them mindful of, of depression, uh, make them, you know, just kind of pre prepare them for the obstacles that they're going to face throughout their athletic journey. Doing the Can I Be Vulnerable, because right, I'm, a, I'm a, bit a big advocate of self-care, and I think being vulnerable and uh, being able to express uh, how you're feeling or what you're going through is, is, a, is a healing component that you need, you know, in your life as you grow into the person or the man or woman that you're going to become. So uh, it's one, one, one of the biggest dreams that I want to that I want to do it. Uh, first question, actually, is have you been to therapy? Yes. What what led yeah. you there? Uh, I got into some trouble in South Dakota. So I had to do anger management and like drug therapy. So uh, yeah, I did that. And you know, before I had therapy, you know, I thought I was too cool for it. You know, thought I, you know, I was, I was real close-minded about it because you know I didn't think that to anybody because I, I thought I, I thought I knew everything that was wrong with me. Right. And something, yeah, yeah. And sometimes you do, you do know what's wrong with you. But sometimes it's good to have a you know a third party or a different perspective, kind of from the outside looking in and just. Being able to express it, you know, you learn a lot about yourself. How has healing impacted my relationship with others? Um, I think it, it helps, but I'm still healing, you know, still in the process of healing, but uh, I'm probably, you know, 75% there. And I think the most impact that I have with the relationships in my life and with others is that I'm more understanding to uh, people's, you know, uh, depression time or any hard time that they may be going through. I'm not so quick to kind of to, to think that they're gonna handle it the way that I would, or think that they're gonna, you know, like they should just get over it, you know? So uh, healing, may, you know, make me just a little bit more understanding, you know? I think uh, the cause of my weakness is I haven't found anything that can match the level of passion that I have for the game. So, uh, and that's football. And I think, that, I think that's uh, the problem that I have. I think that's what's causing my weakness is uh, not finding something that could you know, drive me the same way to work as hard, you know, yeah. as, I, as I work to, you know, be a great football player. What motivates you? Um, results, you know, like seeing, seeing something come good from the, the small sacrifices that I make. Yeah. Like, you know, I could say, you know, cliche my kids, but even, you know, okay. it's, even, you know, like, that, not, my kids don't even motivate me to, yeah. you know, as, as much as it, like as it should, you know, right. because I always like is that something that you know that, that you're supposed to, to do. have, yeah. like supposed to kids, do. I'm supposed to take care. Yeah, of but but I think I think what motivate what I've what I've noticed now is uh, just just seeing seeing good results, seeing you know the the information that I relay, seeing that it, that it's helping, you know. So yeah, that motivates me to continue. Uh, what scares me, to be honest, is not. Uh, not not living up to my full potential you know uh getting being content being content with you know not not progressing you know uh, i think that that's what scares me the most is not you know living up to my full potential basically next question is what does it mean to be a man it means uh responsibility it means uh growth What's most important to me, just uh, doing the right thing, you know, doing, yeah, you know, everything that I do is, you know, is out of pure love and just, just making sure that in every situation, you know, just, you know, I don't, I don't go back to, you know, just trying to cut corners, right. you know, so just, just doing the right thing. How has healing changed you? I'm not trying to... I, to figure everything out, you know, I'm allowing, I'm, I'm processing it, and, and understanding that there's there's steps to uh, uh, fixing things. Right. You know, it's not just going to happen overnight. So, and yeah, being healed, you you know, you can you understand that healing is the best medicine for happiness. Growth is life. Become a a most vulnerable to uh, uh, pleasing other people. You know, or uh, 
I'm I'm vulnerable to 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 being content, man. Like that's that's what I'm noticing. It's not being as consistent as I should be yeah. with things. You know, not taking not taking you know the the good qualities that I have and, and applying them, you know, correctly. And I, and I get vulnerable. Like even even what I'm doing, you know, I'm trying to help people deal with adversity and overcome obstacles. But then as soon as I get hit with an obstacle, you know, I. I continue to deal with it the wrong way, right. you know. So I'm still, I'm still vulnerable to my own, you know, actions and mistakes, you know. What led you to starting? I know you, you you've been, a, been an athlete your whole life. And, yeah. But was there a particular incident that happened that you said like, all right, I went through this, but I, I don't want the youth to go through that. Yeah, was there something that. Absolutely. I, I, mean, I just, I just got out of jail 17 months ago. Yeah. You know, I got, I got convicted for distribution, mm-hmm. uh, and. That that's what that's what woke my brain up. You know, I was real. I was real. You know, I didn't want. I didn't want people to know. I didn't want it to get out there because I was afraid of how it would, you know, reflect on my image or the, you know, my my reputation. Mm-hmm. But uh, when I was when I was sitting in there, and I was talking to my brother, and he and he said he let one of the homies know, and one of the homies went and made me a made a H fund me account HD fund me account. Go you know, me, yeah. yeah, go fund me account and blasted it and everybody knew about it you know my, my brother was real upset about it but right at that moment when he told me that I was like this this is part of being accountable you know being accountable for the mistake that I made you know it's not something I could hide from and it's actually opportunity that we could that we could use to to help the you know to help the youth in our city where you know where I come from because I'm not the only athlete guarantee I ain't the only athlete that's gonna go back from you know not playing ball anymore and then going to, you know, trying to sell drugs and, you know, do things that you, you know, that you grow up knowing, you know. Yeah. So, uh, so I wanted to use, you know, my negative misfortune and, and let kids know, you know, I have a big name in the, in the Long Beach area and I just, I wanted to, I wanted to just let, you know, kids know that people, you know, people gonna make mistakes. Right. You're gonna make a mistake. It's about uh, being accountable about it, uh, for it and, and just taking responsibility from, from your actions, man. you know, and not trying to hide from them, because when you do that, you're just going to continue. It's, 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 you're going to continue to snowball cycle, yeah. in, the, in the wrong direction. So, as soon as you, you you take it on, you take responsibility for your actions, you admit to them, you know, uh, that, that's that's one of the, the the best ways to heal, you know. And I wanted to use uh, what I did, what you know, my mistake, and just basically. Uh, put it out there and, and let people know that you know you can change, you can learn from your mistakes, and uh, you know you could be living one way, and stuff could drive you to, to another way, but you can always get back on the on the right road. So uh, that, that that's what happened to me, man. That's why I wanted to kind of start the the healing depression, the the men's program, uh, and basically just just letting kids, letting people know, man, it's, it's okay to make a mistake. Right. You know, just to be take responsibility for it. Right. Uh, Life after football, how was that? It was rough. It, it, it was rough. It, it was rough because I didn't know, you know, I didn't know who I was as a person. You know, football, that's football identified me, you know, as a person. So when you get your identity taken away, you, you're, you're, you're lost. You're lost because you spent so many years of your life uh, investing in, into this into this one program right. you know that you forget to basically invest into yourself as a person you know that I, have, I have, you know I have many talents you know I have many talents but on uh, I shied away from them or I blocked them out to focus on this one talent right. and then when you do that for you know 19 years of your life you know then bam then, then now, now you're, you're hit with life you're hit as an adult you're, you're hit you're, you're, just, you're just set behind you know if you, and if you don't know how to translate all the good qualities that you learn from the game into life or into something else then it's, it's, it's going to be rough and so yeah life after sports for me was rough until i figured out you know who i was and what, what my purpose was on this earth don't allow don't allow any sport or or any one thing to identify you uh, as a person you know uh, the same amount of hard work and and dedication that you put into any type of program any type of sport you know, just make sure you, you put that much dedication and passion into yourself and into figuring out who you are as an individual, you know, individual. And, uh, and if you do that, man, you, you, you'll never be lost in life. You know, you'll always know the direction you want to go. So.